Well, hello everyone. This is an unboxing video of the Garmin GDL 82. And uh, of course, I uh, got it in just before Christmas. And uh, Gulf Coast Avionics sent this over. It's only uh, 1695 and uh, so a little bit better price than what I would have been able to get at, uh, say, Aircraft Spruce, although I'm sure they would have matched it somehow or another. And if any of you are pilots, you all know about the ADSB mandate that's coming up. And basically, if you fly in rural airspace, which is anything in uh, Class C, Class Bravo, here in the United States, you must have ADSB out. Let's see what we have here. Uh, okay, we got the Form 8130-3, which is the Authorized Release Certificate. Quick Start Guide. And it looks like an invoice where they hurt my credit card. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, well, that should be light enough to keep in the cockpit. Packaged pretty well. And this is the uh, ADFB uh, without the optional wiring kit. But it looks like we got some uh, back shell connectors. Okay, there's a little pins that are going that connector. Alright, yeah, those look like a ton of fun. Okay, we got the back shell connector kit. like the USB programmer cable that needs to be needs to be done in as well and that's used to connect it to the computer to enter your ICAO code and your tail number Let's see what else we have here okay we have the oh that's a plug for the USB when you're not using it for programming Oh wow, this is a first, 12 pins. These things are like a buck 50 a pop. Uh, and it looks like Garmin actually went the other direction and, and gave extras, that's unusual. Well, for $1,695, hopefully we can get a few of those. Let me put all this back before I lose it. Because if you've ever had to replace Piece of part from Garmin, you can tell that gets pretty expensive. All right, we'll seal that back up. All right, here's the unit itself. Pretty hefty. Weighs about, I don't know, feels like about a pound. There's a connector for it. And this goes to the transponder. This is the GPS antenna. And this is the ball antenna on the bottom of the aircraft for the transponder. Not much to look at, but feels like a pretty, pretty stout. And finally, looks like we got us an you know, antenna. little drawing there on how to mount the antenna oh wow manufactured right around a month ago I imagine these are selling like hotcakes right about now and of course we have the GPS antenna itself all 
and the mounting screw for it. It does not, I believe that's the doubler plate that goes inside the aircraft. I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure if that comes off or not after that one little screw there. But that's the GPS antenna. So even if you have a WASP compliant position source, such as a Garmin 430W or one of the GTN series, um, you're still going to get the antenna. So I'm not really sure of a way to order it without the antenna. Uh, my guess is if you already have a compliant position source, well, and an O-ring. Uh, if you already have a compliant position source, you could probably take that antenna and put it on eBay. It's a GA35 antenna, I believe. So, anywho, uh, if any of you were ordering the GDL82 and wanted to know what it looks like, that's pretty much about it. They, the unit goes between the transponder and your transponder antenna and it rides piggyback so whatever code you have in your transponder is what this unit will add the ADFB information so uh, your altitude encoder will come into this so it'll feed your altitude uh, to the ADFB out as well as your position this has a, a watch position source built in and uh, one other thing of note is that it uh, also outputs the position data. So I'm not sure if it can be considered a WASP compliant uh, out uh, position source for your other item, but um, there you go. That's pretty much the extent of it. Was $1,695 from Gulf Coast Avionics with uh, free FedEx shipping uh, via FedEx Ground. So, y'all have a good day, and if you like this uh, type of stuff, go ahead and press that subscribe button and the little notification next to it, and um, hit the like button. I would certainly appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining me.